Hello and welcome to another review on Anime Every Day. In this video I'll be reviewing the anime series Eureka 7. Eureka 7 was my first ever anime I watched. I stumbled across it on Netflix, watched it all in a few days, and from that day forward I've been encapsulated in the glorious Japanese bubble that is anime. But I'm not only giving Eureka 7 credit because it's my first anime, but also because it's a goddamn masterpiece. I've rewatched it countless times and it never fails to remind me why I love anime so much. Welcome to my review of Eureka 7. At first glance, the story of Eureka 7 doesn't seem too complicated. An ordinary 14 year old boy living in an ordinary life is suddenly swept off his feet and thrown right into the life that he's been dreaming about. And yes, the basis of Eureka 7 is quite simple, which in no means deducts points as it leaves a lot of room for detail and themes to be touched on throughout the series. A normal anime show would touch on one or two themes. Eureka 7, on the other hand, addresses pretty much every theme in the book. Literally everything, from Evangelion-style mecha interactions to the philosophy of quasi-environmentalism. But surprisingly, they managed to pull this off very well. You can watch the show over and over, every time finding new, detailed storylines that you'd never have noticed before. Somehow, the story manages to stay simple enough not to confuse you, but also makes it multi-leveled and deep enough to warrant many, many rewatches. Despite how it looks on paper, the story of Eureka 7 is very good, and will have you hooked through all 50 episodes. Bones were given the job of bringing the world of Eureka 7 to life, and boy did they do a good job. The amount of detail in everything from landscapes to character design is very impressive. The animation is great and the backgrounds are very well done. But I'd have to say the most impressive thing about the animation was the amount of colours they managed to use. If you're looking for vibrant bursts of multicoloured goodness then Eureka 7 is your show. The anime quality of this show really opens doors for some outstanding mecha action scenes. In fact, Eureka 7 holds some of the nicest looking sky battles I've ever seen. You cannot beat moments where they take to the sky, spiralling in combat leaving behind beautiful trails of trapper waves. And there's no shortage of action scenes either. Eureka 7 has its fair share of battles, making the details seem even more impressive. Not only does the animation make the action scenes look good, but also helps create the dramatic, emotional side to Eureka 7. People tend to forget this side about Eureka 7, but there is a lot in terms of good character development and relationships. Not only romantic relationships, but there's also great rivalries. When creating these types of story arcs, you need good animation to correctly portray the right emotions at the right times. I can't fault Eureka 7's animation at all. I keep saying this, but it's super impressive considering the amount of episodes, characters and settings there are in this show. Composed by Naoki Sato, the soundtrack for Eureka 7 was no short of a masterpiece. There was an amazing blend of tense, upbeat, sad and epic tracks. Not only a mix of emotions, but also a mix of genres. Everything from rock to orchestral to trance. I really enjoyed the trance songs. They were a nice refreshing change to your normal repetitive trance, and really gave a unique twist and fit perfectly into the futuristic setting of Eureka 7. Orchestral tracks alongside trance and rock tracks isn't something you would see a lot and you would probably dismiss the idea after thinking about it. But only after listening to this soundtrack do you realise how well it fits and how much it immerses you into the world of Eureka 7. I can't name many soundtracks that jump from genre to genre like this one. Most composers are too scared to mix instrument, never mind mixing genres. Naoki Sato done a great job with the soundtrack, making you feel attached and involved in the Eureka 7 universe. I have to give special credit to one of the best, most unique songs I've ever heard in an anime. Sakura is the song I'm talking about. It somehow combines a really upbeat techno beat with the beautifully sung Amazing Grace. I've no idea how they managed to pull off such a gloriously good sounding song with the combination, but they managed to and it sounded beautiful. Truly one of the single best songs in all of anime. Not to mention all the other very high quality openings and endings that you just can't help singing and tapping along to. They've really done an incredible job with the soundtrack. You don't need to know much about soundtracks to be able to appreciate how much of a masterpiece the soundtrack is. I can't give it enough words of praise for what it deserves, truly an unbelievably great soundtrack. Much like everything else in this anime, the characters were done to a high standard. The story actually focuses on a lot of them as well. They developed a lot of characters very nicely and the character designs were impressively detailed. 
so the majority of Eureka 7 takes place on a Star Trek-esque ship, and they made sure to develop and include every character. There was a definite attachment to all the characters, and to the Gecko state as a whole. This really gets you emotionally attached to a lot of the characters right off the bat. Not to mention developing Renton and Eureka's relationship a lot. Throughout the whole series, the main focus is Renton and Eureka's romance, and it gets pretty heavy when we start to find out more about each character's backstory. But I have to say I liked both the characters a lot. Renton wasn't in any way badass or outgoing, but he proves himself in his own way throughout the story, and you really get a strong understanding of his emotions. Another well-developed relationship is that of Holland and Talho. They are the complete opposite of Renton and Eureka and offer a much more mature and serious story. To mention another enjoyable and touching romance of the series, Dominic and Anemone. There are many, many relationships and friendships that take place throughout the series, but they all end up pointing towards Renton and Eureka's. Their romance does seem a bit cheesy at times, but what can you expect from two teenage-based characters? In the end, I was totally pleased with how they portrayed the characters. Like the story of Eureka 7, there's so many well-written characters that it's impossible to list them all. At its most basic form, Eureka 7 is a romance between Renton and Eureka, and I'm glad they managed to stick to making it a good one, without getting lost in everything else. Another high-quality aspect of Eureka 7. In conclusion, Eureka 7 is amazingly put together with stunning visuals, godly soundtrack and touching story. It wasn't rushed, they didn't throw away any writing to add fan service like a lot of anime shows, and it stayed true to itself the whole way through. Eureka 7 is, and always will be, one of my favourite anime series of all time. I recommend anyone to watch it, regardless of your tastes or preferred genres, as it's a show that anyone can enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed Eureka 7 as much as I did, and I hope you guys had as good a time watching my review than I did making it. You can help me out by clicking the like button or sharing the video on your social network sites. If you want to see more of my reviews, you can click the subscribe button and click any of the links on the screen now. Thank you very much for watching my review guys, and goodbye.